Now, Africa's biggest uh, refugee crisis at the moment has been triggered by the conflict in South Sudan, which has sent millions of people fleeing. Until two years ago, Luwal Mayen was a refugee in Uganda, having escaped the killing fields of his home country, South Sudan. After making it to the United States, Luwal is now a software engineer and a developer of Genome Games. Luwal Mayen joins me in studio to share his life experience as a refugee and what he's doing to help bring peace in the world. Welcome to Africa 54, Luwal. Thank you so much for You're inviting me. You're only 24 me. years old. Tell me, how did you end up in Uganda, where now we have about a million refugees, I think, South uh, Sudanese? I think this, uh, this is a very good question. And you know, being a refugee, it's, it's not a choice. Uh, I remember like uh, the war in South Sudan began like a long time ago. And in 1993, my parents had to flee South Sudan to Uganda, Northern Uganda, so that they can find a place for refuge. And till then, since 1993, uh, uh, I became like, you know, staying in the refugee camp in Uganda. Yeah. And, you know, I realized that, you know, being a refugee is not a temporary thing because uh, I had to utilize every opportunity that I got in the refugee camp in the northern Uganda. So, and at that particular time, it was like so hard for me because I had a dream that one day I, I need to do something very important and very vital for my family, for my country and to the world. But because of the war that broke out in South Sudan, I couldn't do anything ending up in a refugee camp. Mm -hmm. So, to me, like, I feel like, you know, I had the passion in computer programming and there were no facilities or computers that I can be able to access uh, in the refugee camp. So I told my mom to buy for me a computer. So, and my mom looked at me and laughed because there's no power, there's yeah. no light, there's, you know, there was no computer lesson to be over at. Uh, so, while you were, I mean, a young person growing up in this refugee camp, yes. you have the mind to exactly. have an ambition yes. and, have, and maintain your passion regardless of the challenges you exactly. faced. Exactly. So, how eventually, after getting this computer, how did you get into software engineering or at least uh, developing the idea of developing apps and stuff like uh, that? That's, that's a very good question because um, even after the war broke out in South Sudan in 2016, I, I grew up like playing this a video game called GTA Vice City. It's one of the famous uh, video games and I realized, you know, I, I wanted to make like a video game like that one day, seeing it's a war game. So I realized that I have to make video game for peace and conflict resolution. And through that, I managed to do online tutorials to train myself and I went to do short courses at Macquarie University in Uganda. So that can actually help me to earn the skill in, uh, in the development, since I was a refugee and I don't have any hope again, yes. And, and maybe you can tell us a little mm -hmm. bit how you ended up in the United States, but what would you tell those who see refugees as people who should be held back, who should be on the other side of the wall or the border? That's, that's a very good question because uh, refugees are people, they're human beings, they have the dream, they have uh, whatever it takes to be like other people, uh, other successful people. So I feel like, you know, the, the response we can give to the refugees is that, you know, we have to give them the opportunity, you know, because one, these are people going through a lot of challenges, you know, sometimes health care, you know, there's a lot of things, there's no food and so on, there's no good education. So for me, I think it's a good thing like to help them and let them achieve their dream. You know, when I came here to the U.S., actually my family tried their best to, to move from northern Uganda to like Canada so when refugees were actually moving out, but it wasn't easy. So when I had my software engineering and started making video game for peace building, so I won an award for, with uh, Peace Tech Accelerator because this is a program that uses technology for peace building. So they realized that, you know, my cause and what I'm working on was really so vital, and yeah. that's how they invited me. And you've me. been uh, recognized now. Yes, I yes. hear you can you actually get invited to some very yes. <laughs> big yes. series events. Yes, Show this. Uh, tonight uh, I will be attending the national baseball. Uh, DC is playing. Uh, uh, it's playing the Baltimore, and we are going to be talking about the important thing that the refugees are doing at the pre match uh, at the national uh, park which yeah. is really, I'm, I'm really excited about because people have to, you know, know the thing that refugees are doing because they are really like, they're people like us. So, and so you kind of feel, you have, you're making a contribution, exactly. not just to yourself, not exactly. to South Sudan, but exactly. to the world. Exactly. Yeah. I'm actually producing one of my board games recently. Uh, I'm launching very soon. And that board game is about conflict resolution. It's not only made for South Sudan, but actually things that are happening in the world. 
thing like to do with slavery, thing to do with conflict, thing to do with, you know, uh, you know, the things that are affecting the world. So I want to address them in a board game. And these are things that, you know, this board game is going to be played everywhere, but it's a refugee doing it. So I feel like, you know, refugees have the capability and the energy to make a world a better place. If they're given an opportunity and yes. saved or exactly. allowed to run away from where they could lose their lives. Exactly. Thank you very much for you're joining welcome. us and Thank congratulations you. for all that you're doing. Thank you. Wish you all the best. Uh, Lual uh, Mayen is a software engineer and a former refugee.